Well, how are we doing on this Monday evening? I'm in the green room because it's freezing ass cold outside. Or I would have made a video earlier this afternoon sitting outside, but it was just too damn cold. We're supposed to have one good day this week. It's going to be Thursday. It's going to be like 60-ish degrees. And then after that, it's going to be like 40, 45, maybe 50 if we're lucky. And the lows are going to be all the way down in the 20s. But, you know, it's what happens. You know, we had a really warm January, really warm February. Now here it is, March. And it's like, oh, look, it's wintertime still. So it is what it is. Now, I had been making some crazy ass jellies. Just because, well, I've heard of certain things, but I've never seen certain things. And this one here, it's kind of dark. It's from my end, it's nice and golden amber, but from this end, you know, you can kind of see it now. Um, I wish I could have a light shining through where you can see it better. I try to get as close as I can. It's not really doing it justice, but it is what it is. And you can see the ambery kind of beer kind of look to it. Um, this one uh, basically is made from Corona. Um, it actually says Corona Cerveza Jelly. And my jars this size are $4. Uh, some people could be like, well, why don't you sell it for more? Well, it's a half pint jar, you know. I probably could, but I'm not greedy. And then, um, after I made that one, I'm not sure how good this is going to show up, but it's really dark. Even the light shining through my end, it's really, really dark. Um, I know y'all where we can't, I'm not sure if you even get a good color of that or not. But, uh, this is a red sweet wine jelly. It's actually wine jelly. Actually, it's, hold on a second. Here's what's left of the one gallon jug. And that's what it is. I poured it in a big old container mix my stuff together and voila I made jelly I mean it's not really super super thick like a lot of people's jellies are this is kind of like what you what you find in the grocery store jelly wise consistency wise you know it moves around a little bit but it's red wine jelly and then a couple friends of mine Daryl, and I, I've seen, well, I have heard and seen things online. I've never seen it in hand in person. But I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight jars of bourbon whiskey jelly on the counter. I would bring a jar here and show you, but it's hotter than hell. And it basically came out of the uh, water bath canner probably about 45 minutes ago and I have it wrapped up in a towel and it's still pretty damn hot to touch barehanded wise but I got eight jars of bourbon bourbon jelly and uh, I know for a fact two people Everett and Puckett are gonna be the first ones to say I want to try it so with that being said I'll have six jars of bourbon jelly and I have not figured out what I'm gonna price those at um, even like my one, I have wine jelly in a half pint and it's four bucks a half pint. Um, my pint jar, this size is eight bucks. And, uh, you know, it's okay because I know there's going to be people that's going to be like, Hey, I got to try it because it's crazy. That's what I live for. I live for craziness. Um, I don't like doing your basic everyday kind of like, well, here's blackberry. Oh, here's strawberry. I want to do something that's crazy. I want to do, I want to push the envelope. Either it's going to turn out or I'm going to dump it out. One of the two. So, but cross fingers and a little bit of knocking on wood, everything has turned out. 
So, it is what it is. Now, I'm going to get off topic for a split second. I just had the damn thing in a second. I'm going to try and figure out what I did with it. Where did I put the thing? Oh, this is when it drives me crazy. It's probably right in front of my face. I'm not even looking at it. Sure enough, right in front of my face. Some time ago on Facebook, I was on there and somebody had thrown this crazy picture up. And um, my first initial response was, ooh, that just sounds so nasty. But then curiosity kicked in. I was like, you know what? I got to try it. But before I do, hold on a second. I had to spit my dip out. I had seen this, and uh, we went to the Dollar General down the road, and one of the guys working that night was like, here, do you want to try this? It's, it's crazy. So I took a can of it, and I tried it. And uh, this is what it is. Pepsi Peeps. And uh, it's an actual thing. And when you take a sip of it, you taste Pepsi, and then the marshmallow comes in, and it's like, boom, it like hits you in the face. And uh, believe it or not, it's really, really good. And I'm so thankful that they only, well, around here, they only sell it in the little bitty can, which I'm so thankful, because if it was a great big bottle of it, I'd be drinking it, and I'd be in really, I'd probably be in worse shape than I am drinking the big one than I am just the little bitty one. But the comical thing of it is, I have one of those safe can openers where I can put it on top of here and I can actually cut this whole lid off completely. Just let, like lift it up. And um, here, probably next few weeks or so, um, I'm going to get the cola fragrance for a candle along with the marshmallow. And I'm going to mix the two together. And I'm going to make a candle that smells just like Pepsi Peeps. And... Uh, now oh, we got a couple of these cans, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do it for shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, it's great. And and then on top of it, which I know that I'm going to be getting in trouble again, I got a big box of them. Well, it's only, there's only 10 of them in there, but you know, yeah, I got a, it's there to the so that way, if you, if you haven't had this yet, and it's not in your area yet, you can contact one of your stores and say, Hey, look, I saw this jackass on YouTube holding up a box of Pepsi Peeps. And uh, I want to get a box of this so I can try it. So here it is, Pepsi Peeps. And I tell you what, if you love Peeps, you're going to love this. Because, like I said, it tastes like Pepsi, and it tastes like Peeps. And uh, you just can't go wrong, you know. It's one of those things. Like, right now, I'm drinking a Pepsi. And uh, and the best thing about this is, Pepsi does not so endorse me by any means. Um, I just like Pepsi. Am I supposed to be drinking Pepsi? Hell no. But it is what it is but I have started a few things around here because I'm still making my extracts I, I, I started another one um, it's really crazy it's definitely different and uh, I don't know why I made it for <laughs> excuse me it's not a buck not to die <sighs> two and one but um, I took fresh coffee beans and let's see if I have it up here on hand and I do not but um, I took fresh coffee beans and some vanilla bean and mixed the two together and uh, I now have vanilla coffee and because uh, eventually sometime this summer I'm gonna make a coffee cake and I figure you know why not if you're gonna add vanilla into it 
put vanilla coffee mix when you make the coffee cake to give you the extra punch of you know coffee and you get the vanilla flavor you know of course you know you really just can't taste the vanilla so to say you can but you can't but you know that's another thing I, ca I came up with and there's a few other things I have that's just crazy off the wall like uh, I have a chocolate mint um, you smell the mint first, then you, you know, it's like you smell mint, then you smell chocolate, or you smell chocolate, then the mint, but the mint's really strong, so it, it, usually you, I would say you'd smell the mint first. Um, but I've made all kinds of crazy things. I'm still working on more. Um, I'm basically going to be um, making a ton of fried pies this year. Um, because I found a cheating way to make fried pies and to make it really, really good. So, I'm going to be making fried pies. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my things that I'm you know, going to be kind of like beyond everybody else that's there. And then on top of it, I made some, uh, different kinds of chili powders i got all kinds of stuff going right now i got tons of that and i got all kinds of uh syrup kits um like elderberry syrup kits i got all kinds of them um i'm still working on some crazy stuff because you know technically in almost a month uh the market opens now i am going to be going the first week weekend of the market and i'll probably go the second weekend and uh Depending on how that goes, depends on the third or the third or the fourth. Um, but you know, it's not here yet, so I can't say yay or nay. Um, not gonna, I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to bail the first, the third weekend, or the fourth weekend. But it just depends on weather, what who shows up, and um, what more do I have to contend with competition-wise. Um, Truthfully and honestly, there's not really anybody competition-wise that, you know, that's a threat, so to say, to me. Uh, the closest person um, that would be competition-wise would be the Painted Pig, which is Linda's place. Um, but we don't, we never have been, like, competitive back and forth because... Uh, there's been people come to me and say, hey, do you have like some rye bread or do you have some wheat bread? And I'm like, no, you go, go see Painted Pig. She's right down there. And there's times when people come up to her and say, hey, you know, do you know where such and such is? And she's like, yeah, you're down there in the great big red canopy. You know, you know, we we help each other back and forth. We don't try to cut each, cut each other's throats to make a dollar. It, it just doesn't happen. So, but she's the closest thing competition wise for me but we're not trying to compete against each other if it makes any sense I do know that I'm going to improve a couple of breads of mine um, and then I'm going to I'm also going to be start making a rye bread um, and a wheat rye mixed together and uh, there's a few other things I'm wanting to do. I have never made them. Um, I'm kind of yeah on the fence with it, but I don't know yet. Um, I can pretty much bake and make food stuff with no issues. But, <laughs> excuse me. There's a few things, even for baking, that's no, I've never done. I mean, not not saying I can't do it. It, it might take a few trial and error, a lot of errors, and uh, before I can, you know, get it down to where I want to do it. But if I can do it, oh, it's gonna be a game changer. Um, well, it can be a game changer for me at least. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet or not, or even attempt on it. But you know, I never. You just don't know. So it is what it is. My father-in-law got his truck picked this past weekend, so that means more than likely this coming weekend, I am going to be going to get a load of lumber to start 
working on the back. And, uh, yeah, that'll be one more notch that I have, you know, that I've been wanting to do for the past couple of years. It's going to be one more notch that's going to be taken off the list and be like, you know, once it's, once we get the lumber, you know, I don't care if it gets started on that weekend of or the next few days to two weeks. As long as I get the lumber that I need to do it with, then, you know, everything is, you know, I'm, that's the least of my worries. So, and then on top of it, if nothing else, um, I can take off so many weekends during the market time to fix or to have somebody help me in the process of to build the back porch frame form for everything that I want to do with it. And, you know, I'm happy with that. You know, it's not a big issue. But my biggest thing is I have to get the lumber first. And like I said, you know, truck's fixed. It's coming weekend or maybe even Thursday if nothing else. But Thursday's supposed to be a really nice day. So we might just say, hey, you know, since, you ain't, since you're retired now and you're sitting at the house, let's go get some lumber. It's a really nice day and, you know, we can do that. Or, you know, I can wait till the weekend and he can sit around the house and do some things outside if need be. And, you know, we won't, I, won't, I won't have to bug him on a, a really nice day of the one day a week. So, But other than that, you know, everything's been pretty well peachy king and it's kind of scary because when things go good with no hiccups and no little bumps and even like little bitty ones there's a monkey wrench waiting get thrown in the cog gear and something bad's gonna happen i know it's gonna i just don't know when or how but um boy my luck goes whenever things going really good something bad is about to happen and you know that's what i'm waiting for Bad thing, really bad things gonna happen. It's me drinking these damn Pepsis. But what are you gonna do? But anyway, you know, we got a freeze going on tonight. We got a freeze going on tomorrow night. We got another freeze going on the night after tomorrow night. Um, there's like freezes going on all through this week, which you know, I don't have to worry about it because everything that I've already put out is in the ground and basically. Um, you know, it's during the seasonal forms of when you're supposed to put it, <laughs> excuse me. So unlike a lot of people around here that was like, oh, let's put all kinds of flowers out and let's put all this other stuff because it's springtime. It's really nice and warm. Spring's like 20 days early. So we're going to go ahead and plant things, which shouldn't be planted. And even, even the forecast people on the news are like, hey, man, for everybody that's went ahead and jumped the gun and put all this stuff out, you know, you're going to have to cover it really good and do this other stuff and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I don't do that. I did it one time and I learned my lesson. And uh, so basically I do the almanac thing and plus, you know, I do I watch the cycles, you know, for you know, what should go on the ground that's cold hardy, what can what can take it, what can't take it, what, need, what needs to be covered, if you do plant it, so yeah. But usually everything that I do plant is usually within about the middle of April, which could be cold at night, but by that time, you know, it's, it's kind of a flip of a coin. And if, even if there is, is anything in the ground, you know, just get a decent sized tarp or some kind of covering, um, you know, and you're fine. Um, but mostly everything that I do start between April and May is seed form. So even with seed form, you still got to be careful on certain things, but it's not as bad as actually having a plant that's, you know, actually up and going because, yeah, it's two different worlds. But uh, but I know all kinds of people already just put plants out and all kinds of flowery kind of things. And they're like, oh, it's springtime, it's springtime. I'm like, no, it's not springtime yet. It feels like springtime, but it's not springtime. It's still wintertime. At least until the 20th. Well, everybody says now the 20th of March is the first day of spring. I was, like I said before, the 21st to me was 
raise wise it's the first day of spring so but it is what it is I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it everybody can argue about it all they want to I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit because I'm leaning back in the chair a little bit <sighs> There's still a few things I need to get for in the yard. Um, Got to get a canopy for the porch. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. I got to fence up the back side over here. I got to get some no trespassing signs because one of my neighbors basically um, she's making herself at home, and uh, yeah. I'm, not gonna have that you know I mean if you want to come down and shoot the shit whatever you know hang out that's fine but when you're um, doing egg roundup um, within amongst my yard you know that's I'm kind of on the fence on that I, I don't know if I'm gonna put trespassing signs up um, but um yeah it's really it, it, it really kind of gets to you um, she has roosters and chickens and stuff like that, and she she refuses to lock them up during certain times of the day and in, in, in during the evening and stuff like that. And um, they just run around at, down the roadway and all through the areas freely. And um, she sent my one of my neighbors in the back area. She sent him down here um, to look for some eggs that uh, her hens had laid. And, uh, of course, he kind of walked, he walked by the yard a little bit, looked around, didn't see nothing, come up there and knocked on the door and said, just let you know, I'm up here looking for an egg or two that supposedly one of her, one of her chickens laid that, um, like he said, I'm not a chicken, so I have no idea what to look for. And, uh, and then the other day she was down here with a, my youngest said a bunch of eggs in her hand and, um, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to put with that much either and like I've told Junior and another person that basically if I start putting plants out and her roosters come down here uh, eating up my plants and produce and everything else like I know they have done before not hers but others have done before um, her flock will disappear it really will and uh, and I'll just leave it at that but yeah her stuff will disappear quickly and uh because you know you know my stuff doesn't run around the neighborhood my stuff doesn't my my pets don't cause an issue uh, my my one goat does get out of the pen but he stays in the yard he doesn't travel around the neighborhood uh he stays in the yard in a certain area and uh, he eats up what's laying on the ground and you know and he stays within proximity. Now he might go the next lot over, like a few steps over into it, but he's not running around like her stuff does and, you know, becomes a nuisance and everything else. But it is what it is. And there's a few other things around the house I gotta do. I, get, I gotta get some gravel laid down. We gotta tarp out a few things and um, definitely gotta go around picking up more sticks and burning more sticks in the burn barrel because, like I said, we use the ash from the burn barrel and we scoop it up and put it in the wheelbarrow and then we take it out to the raised beds and we sprinkle around the raised beds and, and then whatever else doesn't work, you know, for raised bed wise because you don't want to overload it with ash. So I'll just sprinkle it in some parts around the yard, you know, fertilize the grass with some, you know, wood ash, you know. It is what it is. But, uh... There's minor things we got to do, nothing too bad. But here lately, uh, I'm on a jelly kick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run that because um, for all the amount of jelly that I can make and I can take to the market for the opening day is, you know, that much more um, of an item that you know I can, you know, bring somebody in and have them try something different or have somebody see some something on the table that's uh, that I haven't had in the past two years and, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I mean, other than the market, you know, 
I've just been sitting around when it's when it's when it's cold like it has been the past few days. I just sit in the house, watch TV, play online a little bit on the computer, look things up, what to make, what to fix. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, gather up more supplies, containers for you know like um container forms to put food product in you know i mean just and then there's I, i'll sometimes i'll get online i i have like this little well some people don't remember it but some people will like a long time ago when you was a kid about october november you get the big old thick book a sears and row book sears and row book and uh, you go through there and you circle things and check things and fold pages because that's something that you wanted for Christmas. And, you know, you you would ooh and ah and gag and everything else on it. And um, kind of like what I do on the computer, I'll, I'll, I'll save links and, you know, I'll uh, save pages and, you know, back, back and go straight to what I'm wanting to look for. And, and there's a lot of times I look at it and I'm like, you know, I'm like, well, you know, I saved it for a reason. And um, most of the time I'm like, eh, I, you know, it's like one of those needs and wants things. And it's like, I really don't want to go to this route, so I'll delete it. And I'll keep looking up other avenues, other things that's similar to it, but not exactly what I looked at. You know, I, I don't know. This time of year is kind of one of those, it's a coin flip because, you know, there's things that you really need and there's things that you really do not need and um, there's a lot of do not need that I've been looking at um, but I don't need them and, and, and in my head I'm like man that'd be great to have but in reality it's like I don't need it um, I need to get that lumber so I can get the parts built or started on big build uh, we got to get, you know, the drywall to tear all the bathroom, completely demolish the bathroom, start over from scratch, redo things because we had some water damage and uh, we got to do that. So my, my main priority right now, porch, bathroom. Other than that, everything else does not matter. Um, but other than that, you know, yeah, you know, it's one of those things. And... I do know that <clears throat> I plan on having a hell of a birthday bash because like I said I'm turning 50 you only turn 50 once and uh, and honestly and truthfully there's a lot of my friends that I have outlived and uh, hell I even outlived my brother you know he died at 48 47 48 let's see Yeah, he died at 47. He died at 47. So, I'm two years past when he died. And then on top of it, I'm turning 50. So, you know, why not? Because I want to have a great big old thing, a crawl dads like I do every year. Like a low bull. And then I'm going to see about possibly ordering some blue crabs and steam them with some seasoning and everything else. We can have crab and crawfish and, you know, some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go all out for my birthday. And, uh, unfortunately, my birthday falls during the work week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it on the weekend of, which means, like, every year at market, that weekend of, I don't show up. Because I'm having a birthday bash. And, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, I need to shut my ass up. And let y'all get back to y'all's normal everyday day daily life. And I will see you all probably hmm, two, maybe three days. Give her, since it's Monday going on Tuesday, say Wednesday, Thursday... Say Thursday or Saturday, you'll probably see me again doing something stupid or talking about something stupid. So until then, keep your nose dry and your powder clean and everything should be okay. Till then.